Before we begin the video, if you haven't yet, come on down and join my Discord server. Link is down in the description. Ninjago is a show mainly made for kids, but it does have serious moments here and there. Today, I want to ask the question of, is Ninjago a dark show? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another video. This video was inspired by a discussion I witnessed on Twitter, and I felt it would be an interesting subject. First things first, Ninjago is a kid's show and that's undeniable. But Ninjago isn't just a kid's show. It also has the ability to appeal to teenage viewers and even adult viewers. And one way it does this is with the occasional serious or mature moment. Stuff like death, loss, PTSD, identity, these are all themes that Ninjago has tackled. So yeah, Ninjago is mature at times, and that's why I would say it isn't fully a kid's show. As for the word dark, I feel like everyone has a slightly different definition of it. So I want to clarify, at least in my eyes, what the word means. I feel that for something to be dark, it has to be really mature and more extreme than usual. For example, I wouldn't say every serious seed is dark, but every dark seed is definitely serious. And when I say extreme, I mean really going all out in some way. And that might be graphic torture or suffering or depression. And going into my next thought, I feel like dark often pertains to violent. And that's often stuff like gore or blood or a really violent death. So all that being said, what is dark in Ninjago and what is it? First off, I feel the character of Harubi overall is really dark. It's obvious she is very mentally twisted and really crazy. However, all of this is due to her tragic childhood and the death of her parents. These aspects are a core part of Cizade's story and are definitely relevant. Something I don't consider dark though is Craig's family. In season 11, it's revealed the Yeti's entire family was wiped out by the Ice Samurai. But the thing here is that these are just off-screen events. It's never shown on screen and never really touched a pot after that. Which is fine, I'm just saying that it's not really dark. All in all though, I feel Ninjago doesn't often have dark seeds. I'd say by far the darkest season is Sons of Garbodon, especially the second half. And season 9 is a close second. And even the OD trilogy compared to other shows isn't even that dark. It's mainly dark by Ninjago standards. So to answer the question, I don't believe Ninjago's a dark show. I would call it a serious kids show with occasional dark themes. For me, stuff like, as I already said, Harubi, Garbodon vs. Lloyd, and Iron Baron's death stand out to me. And yes, I'm waiting for that guy who's gonna say, oh, Iron Baron didn't die. But what do you guys think? Is Ninjago a dark show or not? Leave your comments below. Anyways though guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone and everyone you know, and I'll see you next time.